Hey guys, it's Nick from bonbonsai.com, and today I'm going to talk about you know which bonsai soil and additives do you need. Now before I get started, I want to tell you about my book, my bonsai book. If you're interested in learning how to prune, trim, and sculpt your bonsai, then make sure you go to the link above at bonbonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. Now, moving on. Is it better to use a special bonsai soil or just normal soil? So the internet's been flooded with uh, bonsai supplies thanks to bonsai trees' increased popularity and the numerous specialty shops that have come with the increased demand. If you're just getting started, then you might want to go out and buy everything you possibly can and want to grow your bonsai, or to grow your bonsai. However, it is most likely that you do not need all of that. You can purchase bonsai soil at a very reasonable prices now. It doesn't have to be expensive. This soil is mixed to a perfect combination of nutrients, soil, and grit that can help your bonsai grow. But many practitioners of the art of bonsai would probably consider this cheating. Uh, there's no shame in it necessarily, though. Uh, if you're just getting started, then you don't need to be up to the par, up to par with, you know, uh, lifelong practitioners of bonsai growing. Just get started. Start somewhere. Now, if you're just starting, then it's important that you do what you can to make your first bonsai as successful as possible. Many people will give up after just one failure, and when you consider how long a bonsai can take to reach maturity, uh, this is not an overnight hobby. You might want to get into the habit of a regular watering, annual potting, plenty of care and attention to enjoy a beautiful bonsai. Now, is bonsai so expensive? It shouldn't cost you more than regular pot and compost or bags of nutrient-rich soil that you use in your garden. Literally. Fertilizer is fertilizer is fertilizer is fertilizer. Now, a good bonsai soil, however, may contain a long list of ingredients including clay, soil, and bark. Some of these ingredients are loaded with the nutrients that your bonsai will thrive on, and paying that little extra can certainly promote healthy growth from your beloved project, but it's not necessary. Like, you don't have to. Now, whether you decide you want to use bags of bonsai soil or make your own soil, uh, there are specific things you need to make sure of before planting your bonsai in the soil that you picked. A suitable bonsai soil needs to have excellent drainage to make sure the water can seep to the roots out of the bottom of the soil and through the holes in your pot or tray. You do not want to put your roots under water. That is how you drown roots and cause fungus. It's also a fun idea to have two different soils. Maybe one's coarser and the other, uh, you know, is more smooth. This way, the screened soil acts as a sort of irrigation for your plants. Now, you may also want to buy consider uh, or consider buying nutrient supplements that you can add when repotting or mix with the soil that you already are using. This isn't always needed if you're growing your bonsai in a suitable area, but it's something to consider. So. That's all for this video, and I hope that you get some help from it. I'll have many videos to come out, and I'm talking about dozens of videos to come out soon. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, because at least two will be coming out per week. Anyways, I'll catch you in the next one.